Hi, this is Sai Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpsami.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation on the currency markets and should help you to stay on top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Guys, today we'll take a look at the Great British Pound. So, um, last couple of weeks, uh, actually, I've got a lot of questions concerning what to expect from the Great British Pound, why it's rallying higher and higher, and what to expect from the Bank of England, whether they will write rate and soon or not. So, because it's a bit uh, section, at first glance, it seems that it stands opposite to overall long-term view. But in reality, guys, as we have talked about uh, Great British Pound, uh, in our previous uh, vehicle research, this market should pass very significant uh, distance to change situation in favor of the bulls. Uh, I mean, very long term scale. So it, it should be somewhere about 1.7. So market should rise to uh, change trend. So currently, market stands in long term bear trend. And on the perspective of the three, five years, we do not ex exclude that market could reach 112 area. Uh, but that is really to extend it to view, it's not really very important right now. Um, since we last time when we have talked about the British pound, it was approximately in the beginning of the August. So right now it means not bad um, moment to take a look again on the cable and see what's going on here and to make the trading plan for at least for the few weeks. Uh, if you're interested uh, about the rates, whether it will be raised or not, and what's going on in the uh, United Kingdom economy, so you could read our vehicle research. Today, uh, I have placed there the very good research on this subject from the Fathom Consulting. As you know, they're tracking Great British Pound very well, and a uh, couple of times we have made excellent trades on their fundamental analysis. So that was first on the elections, when we have traded in Great British Pound, it was really good plunge on the elections. In the parliament, and the, and, the, and the another uh, issue was on the approximately one year ago, and was also concerned about rate increase, and a very uh, big uh, amount of the investors has put the bet on the rate increase, while we have traded it short uh, based on the fundamental analysis on the United Kingdom economy on the perspective of the rate increase. In those moments, Phantom Consulting has said that no rate increase will follow, and they were right. That's why. Uh, Personally, I like their analysis, and it's uh, very, very uh, tight, and uh, it, it's, it's, a lot, it's, it's uh, only important moments there. And uh, they think that uh, they could rise rate in November, but although they are not sure with this, because previously Bank of England, although they have given the clear hints on the possible rate hand, but later they canceled their view. And it's very typical for the Bank of England. And, uh, and they, they tell that although they could write raise in November, but this probably will be just uh, one, two rate changes, not the cycle. And not that this uh, euphoria will be over. And although they're even not sure that even one, two rate increasing will happen. That's why I think that overall bearish trend on the Great British Pound long-term trend is still valid. And overall, this upward action we should treat just as a retracement. So now let's take a look at what we have on the short-term perspective. Right now, guys, market stands really at the strong resistance area because market is overbought on the weekly chart. 135 is the weekly resistance, FIB level. On the daily chart, market has completed this large A. B, C bottom, D pattern. And markets also were bought here. So I don't have the overbought line just to keep chart clear, but it's also at the overbought. It means that on the weekly chart, we have bearish stretch pattern. And here we have also agreement resistance with this ABCD. Uh, taking all this stuff into consideration, we expect that market will show on the daily chart deep retracement. But it will not be straight down 
it, it will take some kind of the compound action. So we expect some kind of the A, B, C, D pattern to the downside should be formed within the few weeks. Uh, this comes from the strength of the resistance because weekly our, our bot, it's not just disappear. It usually leads to deep retracement because it's weekly our bot, guys. It's not just daily. Uh, and also, if you'll take a look at the weekly chart with this upper direction, market has formed bullish reversal swing. Usually after bullish reversal swing, you know, deep retracement could follow. But at the, sa at the same time, as you can see, we have the average sold level for the daily chart. And it stands approximately at 133, but probably we could take into consideration 132.50 FIB support. That's why our action potential for a common week stands with this floor. It's 132.50. That's an area that market could reach on the common week. So uh, on the common week, we expect starting of the downward action that maximum potential to the downside we see at the 13.250 area. On the daily chart, guys, we have nothing yet, but this recent for us down is very interesting for trading because if you'll take a look at the 3 by 3 moving average, you will see that we have already first close below the 3 by 3 And appearing of the double repo sell here looks very logical because market stands in the strong resistance and completed ABCD pattern double repo is a reversal pattern and appearing of the double repo here looks logical that could trigger a downward action. So if you trade on the daily chart, you could keep an eye on this pattern. This could be formed here. On the hourly chart, guys, uh, we currently doesn't have something special yet. Here you, you could see just this bit ugly uh, shape of the hand shoulders pattern. But here is important two moments. First of all, as you can see this collapse on Wednesday. On Wednesday. And has happened right in the moment where market has completed daily large ABCD pattern. So what this action means? It means that within the one hour, market has engulfed the previous action with the whole three sessions. So also some kind of the washroom rinse. The market has grabbed the stop sip of this area and dropped down. So following this hand shoulders shape, we could count the classical target, so we should measure the distance between the top of the head to the neckline, count it down from the neckline, and we will get precisely 132.50 area. That coincides with the daily FIP support. It's very good harmony. So, um, overall situation, technical picture that we see on Great British Pound leads us to a couple of conclusions. The first conclusion is that currently, it's definitely not the point where it's a good idea to watch for a long position, so taking the long position. It's definitely not, so it's better to wait for a pullback if you, if you would like to go long. Current place, it's not really a good one for this uh, journey. Second, uh, it's uh, how, if you would like to go short, it's how you could do this. So there's three, uh, three different scenarios you could follow. First, it's most simple. You could just stick with this head and shoulders, place this top above the head, and watch what will happen. Second, you could wait for the daily patrons. For example, if market will form here the double repo sell, that will be the opportunity to go short. And finally, if you trade on the intraday charts, the third opportunity, you could watch for some kind of the maybe guardless triple two sell. For example, if market will form here some kind of the ABCD patron retracement up, something of that sort could be the chance to go short around 3610, maybe around vehicle peak resistance. Uh, this also could be the chance and you could uh, watch for intraday patients to, for taking the short position. But in general, our trading plan suggests starting on the downward action in the common week to the 132.50 target.